Hey, congratulations on another successful project for you. For you. Oh, thank you, Gig. Where, where, where are you? Where are you? Uh, I'm, I, I'm, I'm talking to you from California in the United States. Oh, I know. I normally would be there, but you know, I decided to have the COVID in Portugal. So, uh, great talking to you. And um, I, I, I see you have a lot of forests out there. Hopefully the fires don't come close to you. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's kind of a cloudy and smoky outside, but, uh, oh. but yeah, it's covering the whole state. It's uh, air quality is pretty bad. <laughs> well, too, yeah, yeah, too bad. So I'm glad you enjoyed the film. I, I did. In in fact, in the past two weeks alone, I was I I was watching uh, Queen of the South, Warrior Nun, and oh, now nice. um, F Fatima and. Uh, and it's and it's all you. Not to mention you're playing a priest in Warrior Nun and Fatima. <laughs> yeah, well, well, I don't know if you finished Warrior Nun, uh, but I'm a cardinal and I end up being a pope, <laughs> and we were just picked up. So we'll, we'll be we'll be there for another season. Um, yeah, well, uh, completely different characters. Uh, and this is my second time I do the second film I do about Fatima. Only the other one was also an, an, an Italian production, but produced by Instituto Luce, that is, belongs to the Vatican. So it was more of a story from the side of the church, uh, other than this one, which I like better because it's, it's more based on facts. And it starts actually with, with an interview with Lucia by an American reporter that doesn't believe, uh, doesn't, is not a believer and wants to know uh, how, how does she, that, what's the reaction that some people might think is a hoax. And that's how the story all develops. So um, I, I feel that this one is particularly, I mean, it, it's, it, it's a, a, a better point of view. Uh, and uh, for us, the act is that I'm not religious. It was so much, much easier to, 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 to act on that, on, that, on that thing because we, we were based on real facts and real people. And we knew more about the, the, the people. We knew about, you know, uh, actually Father Ferreira, as in the movie, was a, he wasn't a believer in the beginning. Uh, till the till till the day when he was present and he saw the sun going around, and he, and then he decided to 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 you know to help the kids. But um, it's uh, it, it's a story that's done in a way that is not that you can be a believer or a non-believer and still enjoy the film. Uh, the fact is that 103 years later, people are still uh, going to Fatima to pray to the Virgin. Uh, uh, there are parallels from the time, uh, 1917, we had the, we had the, 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 the Spanish flu. Uh, it's also uh, the six years after the first, uh, the first Republic in Portugal. So the church is very badly seen uh, by the government. It's uh, because it, it's, you know, the church at the time was always uh, thought of as being monarchic with a monarchy. Mm -hmm. And so, and uh, the people needed hope. The people yeah. were in, the, in, in 1917, I mean, not only was the Portuguese population, the majority of the population in very poor. Uh, they were the very rich and the very poor. But the very poor was the majority. And uh, people were in need of hope because uh, they were being decimated also by the, by the Spanish flu. And I think uh, uh, it, it draws parallels to today, you know, to the way uh, the distortion uh, of society today, uh, the rich are richer and the poor are getting, you know, the middle class is being wiped out in a certain way. And that we are going through co the COVID-19 and we certainly are in need of hope too at this time. Ab absolutely. Now you mentioned that you're not very religious. So um, how do you feel doing um, F Fatima like twice um, for yourself? Well, and the other time, the other film, I played, I played more like, a, uh, I was a reporter and I played more the, the, the type of Harvey Keitel, the, the, the character that Harvey Keitel played. Um, but as I said, the film 
was more through the point of view of the, the, the church. This one, I feel, is, is, is more f seen uh, from facts. That, uh, and it doesn't bother me at all, you know. It's actually made it easier because uh, I, I read a lot of the letters written by people that were there. I read a lot of us uh, about the, 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 the Fatima, well, Fatima became after because, you know, it, it was nothing there. There was just fields where, where it happened. But read about the, about how people lived at the time. So we based ourselves more, in, in, and I think the the script helped us be in places in, in that time in 1917, uh, with all the you know, especially the the the, the, the all the fight between the church and the the, the republic. The republic. So you you probably done your very extensive research on Fatima. Um, yourself, uh, so so it did not convince you to be a believer, or did you think that Listen, something else happened? Fatima for us Portuguese is a story that we have been told since we were kids uh, by our ma by, my mother was my mother was a believer, my father was not. So I mean, but it's a story that everybody in Portugal knows since we are a kid. You know, it's 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 something that's grown with us. Uh, we lo we learned it at school. We learned it. Uh, told by our parents that uh, you, you'd go to Fatima once uh, when you were a kid. So we did, actually, I didn't go to Fatima till later because my father, as I said, was completely a non, a, a non religious. So um, I, I went to Fatima, I think, for the first time when I was doing the other film, Fatima, which was 20 years ago, something like that. But uh, I I don't think you need to be a believer to, 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 to you know, I don't, I don't need to be a religious to play a priest. I don't need to be religious to play a cardinal, you know. Uh, I don't need to be ma a mafioso to play mafiosos, you know. So, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, let me uh, wrap it up real fast because you, you have a nice long career for, for yourself. How do you choose your roles now, now these days? Uh, well, you know, we receive a, a lot of scripts. Uh, and you pray, and there you go, I'm not a believer, but that's the way, you, you pray that it's a good one, you know, because uh, most of the scripts you get aren't that good, aren't that, and not, you know, few of them are good and you want to do. Uh, I'm right now in the middle of uh, having to decide between two films, we'll see what, which, what happens, because right now the decision also falls on is it going to be done or is it not going to be done? Because with the COVID, we have so much trouble. Uh, we now they picked up the series again, so that I'll be doing the beginning of next year. But till from here to the end, I, I read two scripts that I really like. Now let's see which one is going to go. You know, it's it's. But you know, basic, basically, how do I choose my role? I don't choose my role. I'm offered the the, the script, and uh, you know, I try to. I tried to choose, not always you have a choice because not always we have the, that the films that go at the same time, like to, not like now, but you know, you, you, the script is the most important thing. A good story is the most important thing. Absolutely. Uh, well, hey, thank you very much for speaking with me. I'm gonna continue watching your work. Uh, that, that, and thank, thank you for you. giving us hope. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Bye. Thank you.